the big news in the NFL today is that Stephon Diggs has signed a contract extension with the Buffalo Bills that's going to pay him all, all the money he deserves. And um, the idea is that he plays out this contract. He, he could retire as a Buffalo Bill. So Stephon Diggs is going nowhere. There will not be a Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill moment involving Stephon Diggs in Buffalo is what it appears to be. Paying him what he uh, deserves and what he is apparently very happy with. And there's that. Tyreek Hill is now in Miami, okay, which because Hill is there and they've already drafted Waddle and they got Cedric Wilson in free agency, decided to send Devontae Parker elsewhere and in division. They sent him to New England. And I'm already hearing it from my Jets fan friends, okay, that the Jets are now behind the eight ball on the wide receiver market everybody's got one you got to go get one okay and i'm already seeing that right now uh from my friends at nfl network good morning football peter schrager put out a whole bunch and good morning football three different trade offers if you're a jet fan would you take and one of them was the fourth overall pick for dk metcalf and i saw that and i'm like no thanks Fourth overall selection for a wide receiver, even as one as I love so much as DK Metcalf. You said he said that I'm his guy. This does not his man. I, I'm his man. I don't I don't want this to be taken anything else other than the fact that I'd love to have him. Tenth overall pick? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Because at some point you're going to have to pay him generationally talented money, and he's that. I just don't know if Zach Wilson and the Jets are ready to win right here, right now, but he would be for long term as well. Just no thank you on that one. A couple other ones that the Jets, he threw out there for the Jets to uh, be interested in. How about if the Saints gave both of their first round picks to move up to four, right? Hmm. No thanks. No thank you. No thank you. I've already got what? That would give the Jets 10, 16, 19, three of the first top 20 picks. Sure, you could really make some hay on that front. No thank you. Another pick, another trade offer that they threw out there as well is that the Jets cough up their first round draft choice, fourth overall draft pick to the Texans, and they get the 13th overall selection in the draft and Brandon Cooks, who is what? like He's, he's like the most talented receiver that nobody keeps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. I and so, it seems like it, right? And I say, no, thank you reason why I say no thank you to all of them is I want to go in the other direction. You got Diggs, you got Hill, you got Devontae Parker. I want somebody who raises their hand and says, I want them. I'm covering you. I am damn near seven feet tall and a wingspan of 14 feet. And I'm already exaggerating because he lives on planet sauce. I want sauce Gardner. I want the guy to cover them. And then we'll get some other wide receivers. We already got Elijah Moore. Let's get some other ones later on in the later, yeah. second round or what have you. Then you got a 10th overall pick too. You will put Kyle Hamilton next to him or you go get one of the Ohio State wide receivers. I said those words as a Michigan man because I know what needs to be done. Bring me sauce. <laughs> write it in sharpie right now fourth overall selection i want sauce that's the way i'm looking at it i'm not looking at the that the jets are losing the foot race you know instead of an arms race the feet race the hands race i'm not saying that the, boy, the jets are losing that that race right now they got one one team's got digs one team's got hill hill another team's got now Devonte parker I mean, the Jets have Corey Davis, Elijah Moore right now, and bring me another one in the draft. They got two twos. They'll be there. Let's go. Man, Stay put and get down, the man. guy who wants to cover these guys. Somebody's got to cover them. Somebody's got to say, I got Diggs. Yeah. Somebody's got to say, I got Tyreek Hill. Somebody's got to say, I've got it. Jets need that guy. Get the guy who might erase half the field. Get the guy who might be the next Richard Sherman.
because he's long and he's tall and he is brash and he's saying, you mad, bro. <laughs> That's what I want for the New York Jets. And if you can give, by the way, if you can get DK Metcalf by giving the Seahawks their pick back, do that. I don't think the Seahawks are going to do that, by the way. Which is another way for, uh, you know, I still am DK Metcalf's man. If you say he said that I am that, and I love that. That's my man. That's what he said. He told you at WrestleMania. Yes, he did. Fine with me. Fine with me. But he's also Seattle's guy. Why would they trade him? He doesn't, you know, want, it's, he doesn't want to play with some quarterback he doesn't trust. But what if they go get Desmond Ritter? What if they go get Malik Willis? What if that guy is the next Russell Wilson? You want to have DK Metcalf there for him right away. And I know I'm like saying, I don't know if Zach Wilson's ready for DK right now. I'm just saying I would rather go the other direction. Get me to cover, to defend these guys. Instead of saying, I want to win something 40 to 30, I'd rather the Jets go and defend and get somebody who is ready to defend and brash enough to say, I will defend that guy. That's who I want. Fourth overall pick. Do not give it up. Bring me Ahmad Sauce Gardner. He didn't give up a touchdown last year, did he? Bring me sauce. <laughs> How many times must I say it? All the sauce. I'll be saying it for the next three weeks in a day, that's for sure. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.